In this video, I want to share what I believe is one of the most important supplements for women with PCOS to be taking. It is one of the most widely researched supplements and it is called inositol. So whether you're trying to conceive or you just want to manage your PCOS, keep watching as I give you seven really good reasons that you should be taking inositol for your PCOS. I'm Taryn from PCOS Diet Support and if you or somebody you know has PCOS and you want to find out more about it and you want more information, then I really want to encourage you to subscribe, hit that bell so that you get no uh, a notification when new videos are released every week. Okay, so let's get on to it. What is inositol? That is a really good question. Inositol used to be considered one of the B vitamins, um, but our body can produce it on its own, so it's no longer considered, considered a vitamin, but it plays two really important roles kind of in the insulin pathway. And we know that women with PCOS inherently have this problem with insulin processing. So how inositol works is that it helps to make the insulin receptor um, more sensitive and more effective. So basically what happens is that on the cell wall, you have this lock and key mechanism where there is a lock in the cell wall, which would be the insulin receptor. The insulin comes along and it lo it's the key to unlock the receptor to get access to the cell. But what happens is that if there is any kind of deformity or if this um, receptor is not working very well, your body produces more and more insulin to make that receptor more effective. And that leads to insulin resistance. Now we know that insulin resistance is gonna make your testosterone levels worse, it's gonna make your symptoms worse, it's gonna make you put on weight. There are a lot of issues with insulin resistance that we really wanna try and avoid. So what happens, the first role that an arsenal plays is it makes this receptor more effective, which means that your body is more sensitive to insulin. You don't need as much insulin to get this lock and key mechanism to work. Okay, so that's the first really important thing. The second really important thing is that once this lock and key um, action has worked, the cell then goes through this whole chemical process um, this whole chemical reaction happens within the cell. It's a chain reaction. And inositol makes that chain reaction more effective. Okay, now you can get inositol. It's a very naturally occurring substance. You can get it in a lot of foods. Often we don't get it in the, in the um, high dosage that we need. But we can talk more about that a little bit later on. First, let's talk about seven reasons that you should be taking inositol. Okay, let's look at reason number one. Inositol has been shown to help restore ovulation in women with PCOS. So if you um, are trying to conceive, even if you're not trying to conceive, ovulation, um, if you are in, if you're not menopausal and you are not um, pu pubescent or prepubescent, we expect that women would ovulate every month. It's what our bodies are designed to do. And ovulation is a sign that your body is doing what it should. Your hormones are balanced, things are working really well. So if you have not had a period for a really long time, that would be a cause for concern. We would wanna know what is going on that is not um, allowing you to have a period. But one of the really good things about inositol is that it has been shown to restore normal ovulatory activity in women with PCOS. So if you're trying to conceive and you haven't had a period for a really long time or your cycle is very erratic, then absolutely um, uh, inositol would be a really good um, supplement to take. The next thing is that it also improves egg quality. Now women with PCOS, because we have these high levels of testosterone or androgen levels, that can really impact on the quality of eggs that we produce. So taking your inositol supplement can help improve your egg quality, which is going to improve your chances of having a successful pregnancy. Reason number three is that it lowers testosterone levels in women with PCOS. Now, high testosterone levels are one of the sign, many signs and symptoms of PCOS. And you can see high testosterone levels in acne, in um, hair loss, male pattern hair loss, in hirsutism, so you get hair where you don't want it. Those are all some of the symptoms of high testosterone levels. And um, taking an inositol supplement on a regular basis has been shown to help lower testosterone levels, which means that you will get this evening out of all your other hormones. It will help to manage um, some of those um, unwelcome symptoms, shall we say, of PCOS. The next one is that it improves pregnancy rates. And this goes back to what we spoke about in the first two ones, where because you've got improved egg quality, because you are ovulating more regularly, your chances of conceiving 
are therefore improved. So especially if you're trying to conceive, this is a really good supplement to be taking. For those of you who are not trying to conceive and you feel frustrated that there is um, a lot of information about trying to conceive, it also helps to induce weight loss. Now we know that PCOS, um, because of our high insulin levels, we tend to be able to put on weight really quickly. We tend to struggle to lose weight. And so by managing a lot of these other hormones, by making us more sensitive to insulin, that we, um, it does induce some weight loss. It improves insulin sensitivity, which makes sense. Going back to what we spoke about, about the role of inositol, it can help to improve insulin sensitivity. And the last reason is that it helps to manage hirsutism. So if you are struggling with male pattern hair growth, if you're struggling with male pattern baldness even, inositol has been shown to help those things. So those are seven really good reasons. Whether you are trying to conceive or not, I really believe that we should be taking inositol for PCOS. Now you might be wondering, how on earth do we take it? So there are a couple of options. Inositol is available over the counter. You can order it from Amazon. You can uh, largely get it at your local pharmacy. You can, um, there are other online sources of inositol. The research was done on um, women with PCOS or the recommended dose for women with PCOS is two grams of inositol in the morning two grams of inositol in the evening. Now, if you find it in a capsule form, normally the capsules only come in about 500 milligrams. So um, if you've got a capsule of 500 milligrams, you would need to take four capsules in the morning and four capsules in the evening, which can be quite a lot of capsules to take. So I really prefer a powdered form. You just put a scoop in whatever drink you have in the morning, you have it in the evening. It tastes very mildly like sugar water. Um, the next thing you're probably asking about is the side effects. Inositol really is quite a safe supplement. Um, there are very few side effects. There may be very slight gastrointestinal distress or um, problems, but nothing um, that you would experience is um, like metformin, for example. Not nearly as bad as metformin. Um, what I will say is if you are taking metformin, please do consult your doctor. In fact, remember that I am a PCOS nutrition coach. I have done thorough research. I can point you to all the medical articles that show you the benefits of inositol, but I'm not a doctor myself and I don't know your specific history. So if you have any questions about inositol, then I really want to encourage you to um, go and consult with your doctor. Now, below this video, I'm going to give a link to my favorite inositol. It is called Ovacetol. It is a brand of inositol that is very high quality. Um, I am a firm believer in Ovacetol. Um, there are lots of other brands available on the market. I will put a link in the description below to some of those brands. Um, it's very easy to take. I really recommend it. You've got seven good reasons as to why you should be taking inositol if you have PCOS.